nature is changing every hour and every minute with many natural disasters that humans cannot predict. This week, the earthquakes in Turkey and Syria killed at least 7,926 people, and tens of thousands have been injured. Thousands of buildings have also been reduced to rubble. Those figures are expected to rise significantly due to the presence of hundreds of families under the rubble. The main reason is due to the constantly growing human population, which is currently at about 8 billion people on this planet, and the negative impact on nature. And if the momentum continues like this, it's very likely that the Earth will no longer be our home. That is the reason why people are increasingly promoting the conquest of space. Elon Musk, CEO of SpaceX, today's number one influencer on aerospace, said, If something terrible happens on Earth, man-made or natural, we want it to happen. Yes, such as life insurance for life in general. Then there's the excitement and adventure kind. SpaceX's plan is to colonize Mars and put the first 1 million people there by 2050. It's a crazy idea, but the SpaceX that Elon Musk is on to reap his first successes. In September of 2019, Elon Musk announced the first version of his next generation vehicle, the Starship. Musk spoke in front of the 50 meter, 200 ton Starship prototype, calling it the most inspiring thing I've ever seen. The powerful Raptor engine is the heart of Starship. This engine has been in development for the better part of a decade, going through a number of iterations. At its core, it's like any other engine, burning chemical fuel to produce thrust, but its use of liquid oxygen and methane, which is something largely unprecedented in the rocket industry and its innovative design, means that it just might be SpaceX's ace in the hole when it comes to exploring the solar system. There's no other rocket engine capable of producing as much energy out of liquid methane and oxygen as the Raptor engine. Compared with the Merlin engine, which is used on its operational Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy rockets, Raptor is a significant improvement. One is that it has double the thrust of its predecessor thanks to a much higher pressure, of 380,000 pounds of thrust at sea level versus 190,000 pounds despite being a simpler size. Starship was then SpaceX's breakthrough, a massive vehicle that could theoretically carry people into space, land safely back on Earth, and possibly turn around and fly again. Musk explained that being able to return to space multiple times with a rapidly reusable orbital rocket is key to the company's plans. He said, the key breakthrough needed for us to become a space civilization is to make space travel like air travel. With air travel, when you fly an airplane, you will fly it many times. More than just a spaceship, Elon Musk said that the company is already thinking about the many potential ways its next generation Starship launch vehicle could be used in space. Already, ideas publicly touted by the SpaceX CEO range from using cargo Starships to clean up space debris with its mouth-like payload bay, to a stripped-down expendable variant of the rocket to rapidly send massive spacecraft throughout the solar system. SpaceX has also considered tethering starships together in space to create a form of artificial gravity for passengers on multi-month journeys between planets, as well as the possibility of turning entire starships into all-in-one orbital observatories, a magnitude more powerful than the Hubble Space Telescope. Furthermore, SpaceX's flagship rocket functions as the first Mars base in the SpaceX project of colonizing Mars. The 2021 white paper wrote, humans will likely live on starships for the first few years until additional habitats are constructed. And as I've mentioned before, Elon Musk recently revealed that the company could eventually develop an expendable version of its next generation Starship rocket. Once optimized, SpaceX says that Starship can launch up to 150 tons or 330,000 pounds to low Earth orbit while still recovering the orbital ship and suborbital booster for reuse. CEO Elon Musk has stated that Starship reuse will eventually take hours, enabling multiple flights per day for each ship and booster and dropping the marginal cost of each launch to just a few million dollars. In comparison, SpaceX's workhorse Falcon 9 rocket uses simpler Merlin 1D engines, has just 10 of those engines, to Starship's 39 Raptors, produces about 10 times less thrust at liftoff, 
and can launch about 11% as much payload to orbit while expending its upper stage. Even then, Musk reported in mid-2020 that the marginal cost of a Falcon 9 launch was $15 million, impressively low, but still a vivid demonstration of just how far Starship has to go. Simply ensuring that Starship can reach orbit at all is a major challenge. Successfully recovering Starship and Super Heavy after the fact may be an even bigger challenge and cannot be fully demonstrated until the rocket can consistently reach orbit. SpaceX won't be able to reuse Starship until it's consistently recover ships and boosters from orbital launches, and there's no guarantee that early prototypes will be reusable even if they're recovered. Until reusability is demonstrated, every Starship upper stage will be functionally expendable, whether or not Elon Musk wants it to be. Musk likely means that SpaceX may or may not decide to develop a Starship upper stage custom built for expendable missions. Such a stage would likely take Starship, remove everything extraneous, and reduce its mass as much as possible. Musk has proposed something similar before, noting that SpaceX could develop a lightened version of Starship with no heat shield or fins slash legs for expendable interplanetary launches. Further to the contrary, SpaceX's Starbase factory is already building multiple intentionally expendable Starship. Ship 26 and Ship 27 feature no thermal protection, have no heat shield tiles, and will not be fitted with flaps, making them impossible to recover or reuse. More likelier than not, they will be used to test other crucial Starship technologies like orbital refilling and cryogenic fluid management. Meanwhile, SpaceX's multi-billion dollar contract to use Starship to return NASA astronauts to the moon revolves around a depot ship variant that will store propellant in orbit and cannot return to Earth. The first few Starship moon landers may also be functionally expendable and only used for one astronaut landing apiece. In short, SpaceX already has extensive plans to build variants of Starship that are either fully expendable or can be only reused in orbit. In early 2023, SpaceX updated the Starship section of its website, revealing that an expendable version of the rocket will be able to launch up to 250 metric tons, or 550,000 pounds, to low Earth orbit in a single launch. Saturn V, the next most capable expendable rocket, could launch up to 118 tons, which is around 260,000 pounds, to low Earth orbit, and costs $1 to $2 billion per launch. SpaceX publicly advertising the expendable performance of Starship unsurprisingly confirms that the company is considering all of the capabilities its new launch system will offer. And Starship's expendable capabilities are significant. Two expendable Starships could launch more usable mass to LEO, which is truly revolutionary if SpaceX can make Starship launches frequent and routine. This has been Kevin with Great SpaceX and as always, if you enjoy what my team and I are doing, you can become a patron through our Patreon link in the description below. Otherwise, my team and I will see you next time.